In this exercise, I'd like to take you on a quick tour through Illustrator and show you how to make an object that has multiple strokes and then save that as a graphic style that will apply to other objects. We'll then save it as a symbol so that we can map it to a 3D object. I'm going to start out with my ellipse tool and I'm just going to go ahead and make a circle. And to make this a perfect circle, I'm just going to hold down the shift key. Okay, and I'm actually going to change this so that it just has a one point stroke and I'll do that in the appearance panel and then I'll give it the color of black. Okay, now the logo we're trying to make here has three circles. So instead of doing that with three different circles, you can actually do that using one path by duplicating the stroke in the appearance panel. And so to do that, I'm going to go down here and click on duplicate selected item, which will give me a second stroke. I'll then change this stroke weight to two and let's give it a different color here so we can see that now that stroke is actually covering up the first stroke that's only one point to see it you will need to offset it so to do that I'm gonna go down to the little effects button and I'm gonna to go to path and offset path let's give this one an offset of 7.2 and click OK and now you can see that now that it's offset we can see that path I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this stroke so I'm going to make sure that's selected, click on that button again, and this time I'll make this stroke four points and a darker color red. Now that is completely covering over the other stroke. Let's change this offset path. Now this is already applied, so you really don't have to go down and go back to path, offset path. You can just double click on the effects right here, and that opens it back up. I'm going to give this one 10.8, and there's our little logo. Great. Now every time I need to make this logo, I can actually save this as a graphic style. And to do that, all you have to do is drag that object right into graphic styles. Okay, now I'll just make a bunch of other circles. Okay, this is going to be the background. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay. And since I saved it as a graphic style, I can now highlight all these objects and click on the graphic style so they all get that same look and feel. Now I'll save this as a symbol. And to save this as a symbol, I'll click on all of these and drag them right into the symbol library. Click OK. Now that I've saved it as a symbol, I can actually delete all these because if I ever need to use these, I can drag them right out of the symbol library. We're going to make this the cover of a box. And so to do that, I'm going to go to the rectangle tool and I'm going to just draw a rectangle. Great. And let me swap the stroke and fill. There we go. And we just take that stroke off of it. Great. Go up to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. And if I click on Preview, you can see that I can make this into a 3D box. Now, I can change the Extrude Depth. Let's see if I click. Little trick is that if you hold down Shift while you drag on this slider, you can see that in real time. In fact, I can even swivel this box so it's facing this way. Now, if I want to take those logos that I made for the cover of this box, I can simply click on Map Art. And since I saved it as a symbol, I can go down and choose that new symbol. And there we have it. I can scale to fit so it fits it a little bit better. Now, I've got those logos that I made and saved as a symbol as art on the front of this box. So if I click OK and OK, there's the box we made with the logo, saved as a symbol, and mapped to the front of a 3D object inside Adobe Illustrator CS4.